Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We are back in Farming Simulator 22, Angel Mountain map. Got a load of sheep here. This episode, we're bringing sheep up to the main farm. We're getting a good number of them. Um, but I do want to take a stop over here and show you some things that I bought <laughs> between episodes. A lot of stuff came up on the used sale market, and I couldn't pass it up. So we have a new combine here. This is uh, similar to the one we already have. This was like, again, all the stuff that I'm going to show you was was uh, about half price. So I just couldn't pass it up. We have a brand new combine. That'll come in handy as we start working multiple fields at once. Then there is a cotton harvester that came up. These things are super expensive. This is, uh, let's see, it's the Case Module Express. A 635. This is the one I think that pushes out modules, not the big giant bales. I actually would have preferred the bale one, but we do have, um, I think I put it up into storage, but we do have a trailer that will transport these modules. Let's see how much this thing normally costs. Uh, 635. It is cotton technology. So this guy right here. So normally 485,000. Uh, I got this for half the price or close, somewhere around half price. So what is that? Like 200 and maybe 250, 240, somewhere around there. What we paid for that. Like I said, I couldn't pass it up. It does need some repair. You can see in the bottom right, it's 21% damaged, but man, that was a deal. Um, this is our corn header. We've had this here for a while. I picked this up earlier. Um, we'll be able to attach that to our new combine, and that'll work out just great. And that's our sugarcane planter. Also needs repair. Got that on sale a while ago. But what came up was a uh, potato planter. So we're going to need this. We just bought potato fields. And we need a way to plant a new crop, because we're going to be in the potato business for quite a long time. So yeah, potato planter bought, and then these two big harvesters. So all of them... Pretty cheap, like I said, about half off. In the used market, I've been waiting for a, a potato harvester. And in the used market, this thing came up and at first glance I thought, oh man, I just hit the jackpot. We're gonna get a potato harvester, but it's not. This is uh, for sugar beets. We already have a sugar beet harvester, so we don't need this. But man, it would have been nice if that was a potato harvester. But no such luck yet, but I can't complain. We, uh, we saved a ton of money with those purchases. Uh, let's get these guys back, these sheep, into our sheep pen. And they can start maturing. These are just the young sheep. I've been sticking with purchasing just the really young ones. Um, I'm okay with the animals taking a while to mature just because we have so much to do. Especially early in the series. Even though we're not, we're, we're pretty far up there in the episodes. But we're still early in this playthrough. I've been trying to focus on mining and uh, getting that out of the way while we're trying to build up our crops and build up our animals. So I don't mind if these um, animals take us a while to actually build up. But it is February 1st in game. Woke up to a bunch of snow here. That is going to confound my plans a little bit. Uh, we'll look at the fields in a minute, but we're going to see that they are ready to harvest. We've got two, our two new potato fields have flipped over. We can now harvest them. We need to purchase a potato harvester, um, but I don't, and we have the money to do it. I sold a bunch of goods between episodes. I uh, kind of had to because I spent about a half a million on that equipment we just looked at, and that put the bank balance down below 10, <laughs> below 10,000. So I had to sell some stuff and get us back up to 700,000. I think a potato harvester is going to cost us like 600,000 of that. That's not cheap. All right, where's our sheep? Right ahead. We still need to get a potato harvester, but I don't want to harvest when we have this snow collected on the ground. I think there might even be a penalty, a harvesting penalty if we were to um, harvest in this kind of weather or these conditions. See if I can get close enough to get these sheep in. Yeah, we'll have to put that on hold. All right, let's get these unloaded. And we'll park this guy. And then we'll take a look at where things stand on the fields. 
We have some other field work to do too, and I'm thinking we're gonna have to wait on that also till this weather clears. Let's take a look at the fields. Boom. And where they're at. Boom, boom. All right, we can see that our potato fields, fields one here over by the main farm and field 46, um, kind of off to the right a bit. They are ready to have the foliage removed and basically be harvested. Like I said, we're going to have to wait on that until the snow clears. Our wheat field is getting real close. I'm anxious to get that going. I think once we start harvesting this wheat, um, it'll give us some grain for pig food, but more importantly, it's going to give us um, grain where we can maybe start buying chickens and things. And there's all kinds of products with chickens, obviously the eggs, um, but then there's also a business over here. It's this guy, the hen house we could potentially buy. Um, and that would allow us to supply chickens and I think clover. And then we get chicken meat and feathers out of that. And then feathers can go back over to the old man's mill. We can make feather dusters out of that. So anyway, yeah, once this wheat is done, probably going to be next month, I'm guessing. We'll be able to uh, have some harvest some grain. We can also throw some grain at the, um, the mill, the grain mill too, potentially. We'll see. Also going to get some straw so we can fill our, or do a lot of composting and process, um, put more of that compost into our new greenhouses and things. We're looking forward to that. And then it looks like our clover field just ticked over. So it's got one more, one more growth phase. Then we can harvest clover. That'll probably be the last crop of clover that we harvest here. We'll turn the grass swath into hay. And then truck all that back. It's about the 6 million liters between the hay that we'll produce and the clover. Truck all that back to the main farm over time. And then uh, I think we'll use this field. I'm thinking we'll maybe plant corn here. Because it's far away, it involves some trucking. It'd be nice not to have a swath or straw. And we are going to need corn for, for our pig food and for other things. That's the plan there. We're able to grow clover in one of our new greenhouses. It's going to be a lot slower, I think, but um, we should be able to get by. What else? Oh, yeah, here, it's not obvious, but there is work to be done over at the vineyard. Well, let's see if we can actually take a look. I'm not sure what this is going to look like in the snow. But if we head over here... Um, I don't know if you can notice, but there's a bunch of grass growing between these vines that wasn't there before. So this all needs to be mulch. We might get away with doing that in the winter time. In fact, maybe we should just give that a go. I'm not crazy about doing it, but we're not harvesting grapes. We can actually see the vines are growing a little bit. Um, not super realistic here in the early February, <laughs> but... I do have seasonal growth turned off, but we'll take it. Um, but yeah, maybe we can do the mulching. Let's do it. Uh, we'll hop into our little tractor. I think I've got the mulcher already attached. And I mentioned uh, in a previous episode that we can actually use course play in this vineyard, this $5.5 million vineyard. Uh, there's lots of grapes here. But we can use course play. And I think I got a course already set up, the one I used for the subsoiling. Think we can use so let's try that i'll go into here create job Ooh, oh getting some kind of lag all right uh first play field work let's pick the field oh, you know what the course we have loaded might just work let's uh let me escape out of this Ooh, i'm getting weird lag not crazy about that Let's bring up this little menu. Okay, vineyard fertilizer spray. No, that's fertilizing. That's going to do every other row. We're going to need to do another application of fertilizer too. Can I change this course here? Man, I'm getting weird lag. Look at the snowflake stopping. All right, let's, uh, let's try again. We'll do field position here. And I'm waiting on a, on a little bit of lag there. And target position, I don't think it matters. 
We're going to load a new course here in a second. Actually, I probably don't even need to do this. Waiting for lag. Let's go here, clear the current course, and then we'll go to vineyard. We want vineyard subsoil. If I select that course, load course, activate. Now we should be good. I'll hit this little eye icon and we can kind of see what that course is going to do. Boom. So we probably are going to have to come back and maybe do a little subsoiling on, or a little uh, mulching on this end row. Their course play starts in the middle, but that you can see is going to cover every row. I'll go first waypoint and we'll just keep an eye on this, see how this does. And we click start. And we should be mulching all these, this grass. Hopefully that's going to be good enough. Let's hop out and just see if we see any differences here. Okay, yield bonus says 66. We go over here. Whoops, by hot. Can I hop over these? Barely. Yield bonus 65. Oh, is that not helping us? Fertilized yield bonus 66. I mean, that clearly looks like it's mulched, right? Okay, yield bonus is a little higher. 68. 69 there. So yeah, we'll just let that run. The course play, I think, is pretty reliable. I, when I ran it for the subsoiling, I don't remember having any problems. And I guess we can do that with the snow. Not a big deal. What else? Well, we could start shoveling up snow. Not super keen on doing that. Um, if we look at our businesses, we do have something we need to get to. Um, over here at the fertilizer station, I can show you between episodes, I've been mining a lot of salt, and I put a million liters of salt into our fertilizer station to produce salt water. Uh, we have a fair amount of water in here, too. I did that between episodes. Look at that, 1.6 million water almost. Um, but this produces so slow, this salt water, 2,400 cycles per month and a hundred liters of water at a time. So it's gonna be going for a good long time, but at least we got that started. Eventually, maybe I can top off this salt to get it up to 2 million. But that's fine. The one we need to get on is Mammoth Mill. We've been out of ore for a good long time. It looks like we could use a couple loads of plastic brought over here too. Uh, we could do that with the snow, but let's get on the Let's get on the iron ore. Need to move my wheel loader over to the iron mine. It's currently at the salt mine. You'll also notice here at the mammoth mill, we actually have a little supply of smelted up silver, almost a hundred thousand liters. I brought a truckload of silver ore over from our stone processing area, from our wash plants, basically. Brought that over here and just fed it into the mammoth mill. And we actually have some silver bars. I think the silver, I mean, we can use this to recruit people, but since we have to smelt it, I think I may have mentioned this before, I need 10 million liters of the ore and 10 million liters of the bars. So that's gonna take a whole lot of wash plant work before we can meet those two objectives. The other thing that we can use to recruit people, and we'll see that later when we buy the apartment building, is, um is this gold and there's no separate step to smelt it. You just get the gold bars right out of the wash plant. So we'll probably try and get by with recruiting people just using this gold and then save all this silver just for the 10 million liter objective because it's kind of slow to produce. All right, but let's get on the mining. We need to hop in our truck. We're gonna move some equipment around. Oh, we also probably have some yeah, we have some planks and stuff we could move into the sawmill or into the uh, carpentry mill. Maybe later. Let's see how long the, the uh, snow stays on the ground. Okay, there's our truck. Let's unhook here. And I'm going to hook up to this trailer. And then I'm going to get my low loader trailer, which is up by the salt mine, I think. 
We'll go fetch the wheel loader, get that thing repaired, maybe power wash it, and then head over to the iron mine. Oh, you know what? The iron mine's right up close to the salt mine. Yeah, we don't even need to put it on the trailer. We'll just uh we'll just drive over from the salt mine. So I will meet you over at the salt mine. We'll bring over the wheel loader to the iron mine and get to mining iron and see if we can't fill up the mammoth mill with iron while we wait for the snow to kind of melt off. The uh, weather forecast up at the top right looks like we're slated to get some sun here sooner or later. And once we do, maybe we can look to get that potato harvester bought. Maybe one will come up on sale if we're lucky. Uh, we have to be really lucky because I don't think that's going to happen, but maybe you never know, maybe. Ooh, roads are slippery. But yeah, I'll meet you over at the iron mine uh, once we have the wheel loader there. All right, I got our wheel loader here. Let's uh, head in. I think I'm going to repair this. I don't think we need to wash it. I mean, uh, I don't think we need to fuel up. We got plenty of fuel. But I'm going to throw a quick repair job on this guy. Ooh, $7,500 for that. Come back. Like I said, I think we have enough fuel. We'll give this a quick power wash. We're down to just under 700000 Speaking of which, why don't we pay off our little loan? Kind of conveniently forget that sometimes. All right, one, two, three, four. Almost down to six and a half million. Not bad, making progress. Not really a hurry. I'd rather have that cash. On a, into a field rather than paying off that loan. So we'll pay it off slow. All right, let's give this guy a quick power washing. Looking good. On to the iron mine. We've got the trailer already there. So yeah, we got room for tons of iron, a million liters over at the Mammoth Mill. We'll see how much we do. I'm going to do a lot. We'll time lapse it and then I'll uh, cut out a lot of that content because it's going to take a long time in real life. But as we're carting the ore, we don't need to take any back to the main farm because we've got our 10 million liters of iron already saved up. But what I am going to do as we drop off loads of iron to the mammoth mill, I'm going to swing out to our um, field silo over near field 21, way out there, and I'll pick up some hay. We have some hay sitting in that silo. I think there's about 650,000 liters out there. So I'll just incorporate some of those transport trips um, as I'm doing this mining. So here we go.
All right, this is going to be our last load of iron for at least a little while. We'll have lots of room in Mammoth Mill, but the weather has improved. It's no longer snowing. We've got tons of sunshine and more sunshine in the forecast. And there's a chance, I think, that this snow will all melt off. And when it does, we want to get to harvesting potatoes. So maybe we should change gears and uh, start moving some equipment around. So once it is, once that snow does melt off, we can actually start doing the potatoes. We'll drop off this last load of iron and then take a look at our production lines and just see what's going on, how much iron we managed to haul. Here we are, Mammoth Mill. So not too bad, 374,000 liters of ore into the Mammoth Mill. And then we put, I'd say maybe 320,000 liters of hay out from the field silo into our main farm silo because we needed to move that product. But this will keep production going for a while. While we have this trailer, let's grab wood chips. And then we'll get to moving some equipment probably over to our main farm uh, where we have that small potato field. We'll start with that one. But let's, while we're here, let's grab these wood chips. Not sure how many we have in here. When the last time is I grab these. Let that fill up. We've got a bunch of planks that need to be moved with the forklift. Not sure we'll get to that or not this episode. We might do a little bit if there's uh, still snow on the ground and we have all our stuff ready or in place to do the potato harvest. Maybe we could do that as a little time killer job. Get those planks put into the um, carpentry mill. Carpentry mill makes, I think, what is it? The pallets, um, to crates, and furniture, I think, for us. All right, that's all the wood chips from the sawmill. Let's grab some from the carpentry mill because uh, this little factory throws off some wood chips as well. Boom, those load a whole lot faster. Not too bad, about 27,000 liters. We'll get these into Mammoth Mill. Still super anxious for our poplar field to mature so we can harvest that and then we should have plenty of wood chips. That'll increase our plank production, our a lot of stuff. Mainly plank production here out of the mammoth mill. That'll get us more pallets and all kinds of things. We're usually kind of starved out on planks. And it'll probably continue to be that way until we get... Um, it's harvesting that poplar. The sawmill here does produce planks for us, but it's slow. All right, let's go park this vehicle and then, or park this trailer, and then run up Angel Mountain. Our flatbed trailer is up there, or our low loader trailer, I should say. Almost swiped that. Unhook here. Pretty day here, February 1st, 9.30 in the morning. Let's go get some equipment. We're gonna need, we're gonna need a lot. Basically everything to turn over the fields up at, um, up at field one. So we're gonna need, uh, you know, like a grain trailer that a tractor can pull. We're gonna need obviously a potato harvester. We'll wait to the last minute to buy that. Maybe, maybe we'll get lucky and one will show up in the used market. So far, we're not having any luck. It's just the uh, sugar beet harvester sitting there. But yeah, we may even want to move our fertilizer and our lime too. That when we plant the next uh, the next crop of potatoes, we'll be good to go on that as well. Yeah, we got a fair bit of equipment to move. Um, our potato planter is sitting at the vehicle dealer. That thing needs to be repaired. We'll need to get, I guess, a tractor out there. Uh, to haul that as well. I think our low loader trailer is right across from the salt mine. So let's grab that. There it is. Since we're kind of over this way, there is a tractor. Let's see if we can let this car through. 
There's a, one of our new Holland tractors is sitting outside of the grain mill. Let me grab that. I guess I should put my ramps up. Whoops. Let's grab that and then maybe we can use that as kind of our helper tractor when we're harvesting the potatoes over on field one. And then we'll swing by the vehicle dealer, get that potato planter, put that up on the trailer here with the tractor. And then drop both those things off to field one. Okay, there's the tractor I'm talking about. It's hooked up to like a little fuel tank. Pull through here. This guy, yes, fully repaired. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Full tank of gas. This guy loaded up. <laughs> Strap it down. Up go the ramps. And let's head over to the vehicle dealer. Here is that planter at the end. I think I'm going to pull through and then I'll unload this tractor and then we'll get that uh, potato planter repaired too. Do that one strap, pop on out. Ooh, a little bit of laggy graphics there. get that repaired $571 that's nothing we got this thing for half price and we might as well repair our tractor while we're here we can just load this up we could take the sugarcane planter but I think I'm just gonna leave it here until I know where we're gonna use that and then that header that same corn header that'll do our sunflowers right yeah that'll do our sunflowers so maybe we take the combine up too. And I don't know if we can get them all on the same trailer. We might be able to. <laughs> we might be able to. Let's try it. Let's see, since we're making the trip up there, might be able to get creative. Let's see, let's see if this guy. I'd have to back on if I wanted to get them both. Uh, we can do two trips. We can do two trips. Let's just focus on this guy for now. Uh, that's good enough. Put the ramps, strap this guy down, and let's uh, take this up to the main farm. We can always move the harvester later. Uh, okay, we've got... Our helper needs fuel over near the grapevines. We'll take care of that next. Let's get this stuff dropped off. All right, we'll unload our tractor. Probably disconnect or drop off this uh, planter. I don't know if we'll need at least one thing of seeds. I probably should have filled it up when we were down there. Uh, let's tab over to our tractor over at the vineyard. I think that one needs fuel. Okay, it has a little bit. Where are you? Right in the middle? Of course. <laughs> it's in the middle. 
All right, we're going to back up. And we have our repair trailer. Uh, maintenance looks really good. Just has a small fuel tank, I guess. This guy backed out. Oh, you know what? We could have. No, nah, that's fine. We'll back this guy out. Saying we could have pulled straight through and then mulched that uh, far side over to the right of us. There, the side of the field here, we could have mulched uh, manually. But we'll save the fuel. We'll just get this thing refueled. That guy started up. And let's refuel. I think this tractor doesn't hold a whole lot of fuel. We don't have to stick with using this tiny one either. Oops. Uh, we could use a bigger one, and it will still fit between the uh, rows. Uh, I guess we should do a maintenance while we're here. Might as well, right? We're right next to this thing. We just got to pull over to the other side. Let's get this guy back into action. Making pretty good progress mulching this. We want this row right here. We'll whip on down to where he left off. Now eventually, once we get to harvesting these, we are going to have to cut some gaps into the vineyard so we can get our harvester out of here without backing up, you know, through the whole row. I imagine the harvester tank is going to fill up before it completes a full row, but we'll see. We'll learn where we need to cut in those breaks or cut in those uh, pathways once it's time to harvest. I think that's a little ways off, quite a ways off, but we'll get to that. All right, let's bring up the course play menu, and we want next waypoint. Boom. Your nearest waypoint. And get this guy going. Mulch, mulch, mulch away. Looking good. All right, that's done. We need a trailer to actually pick up potatoes from the uh, potato harvester. So let's go get that. I think I only have one, you know, like grain trailer for the tractors to pull. Let's go get it. We do have a small plow that we bought. Uh, quite a long time ago, sitting over by the tractor back that way. We'll use that for plowing this field. We don't need the big giant plow. We even get by with a small um, harvester once we switch over to corn, although, or, so, or um, what do we say, sunflower seeds. Sunflowers, I should say. I think our grain trailer is out by these fields out this way. So let's go see if we can fetch that. Long term on field one, I'm still thinking of doing, you know, planting corn, but just harvesting silage. And or, I'm sorry, chaff. And if we did that, we would need a forage harvester, right? We still don't have that. We're going to need a forage harvester once we start doing our poplar harvest. I guess we would have to share that harvester between field one and actually this field right here is where we have our poplar planted. Hemp did to plant the field right across the way. This one off to my left with poplar as well once we harvest that wheat. Just I know we need a whole bunch of uh, wood chips. Not sure. I may do one more crop. We could even, man, we could even do sunflowers there if we wanted. All right, let's uh, get this guy turned around. Ramps down. And let's get a trailer. Uh, I'm going to use this guy to do the helping. 
He's got the forestry mulcher on, I believe. Drop that. So I need a trailer, not a forge wagon. I think the trailer is this guy down here. Let's see if I can back this onto the trailer. I don't need to take another tractor with me, I don't think. And then after this, I need to find out where our fer where our fertilizer is. Might be that might be it straight ahead, or it might be over by the clover field. I'm not sure. Let's see if this will back on there. I'm not sure if we'll be able to pull this off or not. I'm gonna try it. Oh man, you can kind of predict how this is going to go. No, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do this. Back it up. We could drive it over there with the tractor. It's a bit slow. I think I'm just going to opt for superhuman strength. We have that from the Lumberjack mod. Gets us that ability to pick everything up. Just got to tap the alt key twice to trigger that. Try to eyeball this. How's that look? That is looking pretty good, actually. Let's get this up to the main farm. I'm getting graphical glitches right near the trailer. See that? How it kind of jumpy? Hmm. Must have something to do with that trailer. I noticed that before, but okay, let's get this guy strapped down. And ramps up. And let's get this up to field one. Do all this, like I said, while we have all the snow on the ground. I don't want to start the harvest till the snow is melted. I don't know if we'd pay a penalty or not. I know you pay a harvesting penalty uh, if you harvest while it's raining. I assume it's the same kind of penalty if you harvest while it's snowing. But I have no idea uh, if there's a penalty if you try and harvest your fields while there is snow accumulated on the ground. I try to avoid doing that. If uh, for nothing else than just the uh, realism of it or immersion. Yeah, let's take this thing back. Alright, let's get this trailer unloaded. Uh, we want to go the other way, probably. That'll do, that'll do. Next, it's going to be fertilizer. Let's see if we can figure out which one, where that is. Uh, let's hop out here. There it is. Solid fertilizer. So we need to swing back this way. What else can we get while we're here? Like I said, we don't need the big plow. I don't think we need to mulch after potatoes. I can check the help or something and look and see. Anything else we need to take up? I, you know, I do need a forge wagon up near the main farm too. And both of those fit. Uh, they might. I'd like to have a forge wagon up there because I want to cut the grass up there. Which means we're going to want to bring this guy up too, the big M. But let's go, yeah, let's get the flatbed, or let's get the low loader. While we're making this trip, I also had an idea. Remember those two trees we cut down to make room for the new greenhouses? Let's see if we can strap those on here and take them over to the sawmill or something. Uh, and get those out of here. I think we have two trees laying on the ground over there. Yeah, there's one. I think we can get by without even trimming them up. I think we can just set them on here. Full park in the middle, maybe. Let's see. Maybe this will fail. Maybe it'll work. 
But we're going to give it a try. That one can go there. Definitely get, get a lot of lag. Graphical lag by that trailer. I'm not sure what the deal is. But you... Right there. Let's see if we can drive like this. Strap this guys down. Boom. Not bad. Yeah, we'll drop this over at the sawmill. It's kind of on the way. And then at some point, I probably should bring up some fertilizer. Fertilizer and seed, I guess, for our potato planter. We're going to use a helper, and they will automatically refill it, but I don't know if you can start empty or if you need to have a little bit in there. All right, here we are at the sawmill. The sawmill does need a lot more wood than just this, but uh, we'll have to put that on the list. Can't get to that right now. Let's see how much this ends up being. So it shows wood at 116,000 liters, just about there on the bottom right. 116. Eh, that wasn't much, was it? Well, it was not even, not even 3,000 liters, but it's something. And we needed to get rid of those trees anyway. All right, let's go get that fertilizer spreader, and maybe we can get a forge wagon on here also. I'm not sure. All right, here we are. Let's get this unloaded. Let's get fertilizer spreader out here somewhere. Boom. And this guy is for much later. I can kind of be out this way. All right, what's next? Actually, that potato planter doesn't belong up here. <laughs> We're not going to be planting potatoes up here. Well, we can take that back. That's going to go... That needs to go over to field 46. That's where we're going to plant potatoes. But this plow needs repairing. You can see the little wrench there at the bottom right. Just going to run this over to our shop. Get this fixed. All right, here we're here with the planter. Get this guy unloaded. I think we've got just about everything we need. See if I can wedge this guy right in here somewhere. That'll do. All right, it looks like all the snow has melted. So that, and here's our little guy doing the kind of the mulching. The vineyard he is almost out of gas, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on this guy. He's probably gonna run out. Um, maybe we can catch him at the end of the road, but what we need to do now is purchase our potato harvester. We can check the used market, but I don't think we're gonna get lucky. We just have the sugar beet harvester, which we already have. It's too bad. It'd be nice to save a couple hundred grand. But we do have the cash. Let's get the potato harvester. This guy is 600 grand. Oh man, that's a lot of money. But uh, let's just do it. I don't know if there's anything we can really customize. Is there here? Maybe we can get different tires. I'll go with what we have. Boom. All right, we made our purchase. We have 70,000 left in the bank. Let's tab over to that guy. He's in here somewhere. Doesn't need to be repaired. I'm thinking we can just drive, oh, 16 miles an hour. Hmm. Yeah, I think this sugar beet harvester is a little bit faster than this. But I'm gonna drive this guy up to the main farm. Cause we'll harvest that small potato field first. And then probably wanna get that re replanted with maybe, I think we are talking about sunflowers. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a drive. I will meet you back up at the main farm. All right, we're back at the main farm here on field one. I'm going to take this guy over to the far side of the field. And I think since we're not planning to do multiple crops of potatoes on this particular field, I think we talked about maybe doing, um, like I said, the sunflower and then moving over to chaff or corn maybe. Um, I think I'm just going to use a normal helper here. Uh, in fact, I can probably just get on it here. Let's see. Let me get lined up. 
And then we can let the helper do the unfolding and everything else. And then we'll just empty this manually as we get the notifications. We'll see. Let's give it a try. I'm just going to go ahead and bring on a helper. This uh, potato harvester is like a factory on wheels. Pretty cool animations. These potatoes are going to allow us to do the um, herbicide. And it's also a component in our pig food. And obviously we want to save up 10 million liters. So that's going to help us in all kinds of ways. I think this one has a decent storage tank as well. So while this thing is doing its harvesting, it's going to take a while to fill up. We have one small job we can take on with our forklift here. We got a bunch of planks sitting out. Let's get these loaded into the sawmill. Let's see how I do. It's always a challenge, but it's a lot of fun. I do enjoy using the forklift quite a bit. Never thought I would. Oh, that's why. Uh, oh man, we saved it barely. All right, here we go. it for the planks let's see if the sawmill needs nails and maybe we'll do a little forklifting of those too let's go and look at our production lines <clears throat> yeah, it's taken a while for our potato harvester to get filled up so we've got a bit of time let's see uh, production lines up sawmill way up top i think here boom carpentry mill sorry nails uh doing fairly good we could take we could do one load maybe bring some nails over from mammoth mill let's do it we got a little bit of time to kill before we call it an episode here which we'll be doing pretty soon let's do one load of nails one load being like 18 pallets or whatever this thing's going to spawn for us There'll be a few trips, about five trips, probably five, six trips, something like that. I think we should have plenty of nails in here. Boom. I think we just go max and it's only going to spawn so many. All right, let's do some nails. Here we go.
All right, that's 72,000 liters of nails into the carpentry mill. Let's uh, let's tab around and see how our vineyard work is going and make sure the potato harvester is not stuck. I'm kind of surprised the potato harvester isn't full yet, but maybe it's just that slow. Oh, he's waiting, but we didn't get an alert, it looks like. Let's see. Might be something in the settings I turned off on that. We definitely want a notification when the helper is just sitting here waiting on us. So let's unload this guy. All right, 22,500 liters. Let's actually put these things into production. I'm going to take these over to our fertilizer factory. And that'll get us the herbicide, but man, it's a slow processing. So it probably makes sense to get that started. And then I think we'll call it an episode here. We'll let the potato harvester run. In between episodes, I'll look and see if there's some setting I turned off that uh, shut off the notifications that the harvester is full. And I was expecting to see that pop up in the top right. There's our first little small batch of potatoes. Many, many, many more truckloads to come. Not just from field one, but from our other field. Way out on field, what is it, 46 is going to be loaded. And those are ready to harvest too. Let's check our production lines real quick and make sure that the herbicide production is turned on. That would be here. And it looks like it's activated. What do you need? You've got potatoes. You've got water. That should be moving. Yeah, there we go. We got our first little batch of herbicides. So we can use this in the greenhouses. Obviously, we have eight greenhouses. We've got two orchards that can make use of the herbicide. They chew through it pretty slow. And then obviously, we need to save up our 10 million liters. But we've got production started on that. So that is awesome. Eventually, I want to get silt going next. That's going to get us our solid and our liquid fertilizer we can make out of the silt. Boom, there's the silt recipe for solid fertilizer, and there's the silt recipe for liquid fertilizer. Again, these are only 2,400 cycles a month. Um, although this kicks out 1,000, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad either. The uh, salt water only kicks out 100 liters every cycle, so this is going to take a long time. But we've got that going. In fact, there's a little tiny bit of salt water here that we're starting to collect up. This is mostly going to be for our 10 million liter objective but I think there is a business related to our fisheries um, that's going to require this salt water. So yeah, I guess silt would be next, and then we can get this whole factory going. It's nice that we don't have to buy, um, we're not going to have to buy herbicide anymore, because we've spent, I don't know, probably 100 grand on herbicide so far. So yeah, let's wrap this one here. Between episodes, I'll keep emptying out the uh, potatoes here from field one. I may do a little bit more iron mining to get us the get the mammoth mill kind of topped off on iron. That's producing our steel, our nails, our um, drill pipe. Be nice to get some of that stuff banked up towards our 10 million liter objective. We have a lot of iron <laughs> yet to mine in this playthrough because it seems to be used for a lot of things. But yeah, we'll wrap it here for now. This is GladderCat saying thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series on the Angel Mountain map, please do remember to hit that like button. That helps my teeny tiny channel grow, and I appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.